everyone, I hope you're all safe and well. So today I thought I'd read you a story that's my youngest son's absolute favourite. So the story is called Blue and Bertie by Christina Lytton and to tell the story I've got two special friends. So I've got Blue and Bertie. So let's have a look. Every day, Bertie and the giraffes did the same thing at the same time. Crunchity crunch, they nibbled sweet leaves from the tops of the trees. Sip slurp, they took a cooling drink at the watering hole. And when they were tired, they curled their long necks and snore, 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 they snoozed. Each day was much like the last, and that was just how they liked it. Crunch tea crunch, sip slurp, snore snore snore. And then, one day, Bertie overslept. When he woke up, he realised he was alone, and he'd never been on his own before. What shall I do? What shall I do? said Bertie. Shall I go left or right? Straight ahead or back? Bertie was lost. Soon large salty tears were sliding down his cheeks. How was he going to get home? Suddenly Bertie heard a noise. Hello, he said. Who's there? I can see you said Bertie bravely, and I'm not afraid. I might be a little bit afraid of you though, said the creature, stepping forward shyly. Bertie was amazed. The creature was just like him, only he was blue. Don't be silly, said Bertie at last. There's nothing to be afraid of. I'm just a lost giraffe. The blue giraffe smiled. I can show you the way home, my friend, he said, if you like. Bertie did like, so trit trot, trit trot, off they went together. You all right there, my friend? asked Blue. Very all right, said Bertie. I never knew all this was here. Trit trot, trit trot, on they went together. Wow, said Bertie. Look at all this. These are the rarest flowers in the world said blue smiling then gallopy 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 whoosh i feel free cried bertie you are free my friend you are said blue it was a wonderful journey i never knew there was so much to see breathed bertie thank you blue why don't we do it again tomorrow said blue I can't, said Bertie. I have to crunch, sip and snore with all the others. Oh, said Blue sadly. Well, in that case... Your herd is just over there. So it is, said Bertie. Hello, hello, it's me. I'm home, everybody. Bye, Bertie, said Blue. And he turned to leave. Called Bertie. Aren't you coming? Blue hesitated. But I'm different, he said. Trust me, my friend, said Bertie. Bertie was right. Blue fitted in perfectly. From then on, the herd still crunched and sipped and snoozed, but now they did things a little bit differently each day. And that was just how they liked it. And I hope you all enjoyed that story.